All right, guys. So this is my last one. Oof. Okay. This kit is called uh, Time Flies, and Time Flies, and it is by Seneca Pond Crafts as well. And I love this kit. Oh my gosh. So we got so much going on here. So the first thing we got going on is this beautiful lady. So what I did was I used uh, one of the images, of course. And then the image has these keys, and I'm going to show you here. So what I did was I glossy accented uh, the first and the last, and then I actually glossy used my glossy accent to actually glue down a metal key. And I love that. And I did, there was a tassel, and I actually put a tassel there for, you know, it's very... Uh, tactile and then I used a garment pin and I because it's time flies so I wanted to have that uh, little little clock or you know there and then I have glossy accented some of the flowers around her and I put these applique flowers you know around the frame I framed out uh, the lady reading her book with this gold trim and I glossy accented her jewelry and the book and the chair she's sitting on and the key ring so that's that and then the spine I just have a simple seam binding with a little uh, little bling there and this is the back and this book is chunky. This book measures uh, five and three eighths by seven and three eighths, and it has a two and a quarter inch spine. But as you can see, I went a little too crazy. So, but it's okay. I have some dangles. I have a cuckoo clock dangling from the lace. And it's crochet lace. Uh, I have some cuckoo clocks, and let me see what else. Uh, cuckoo clock, and I have a lock and key, and anyway, I'll show you. So let's get right into it. And of course, it has the four metal corners, and I constructed the book itself. And let's get right into it. Okay. Oh, and then it has time flies, so I had to put a wing. <laughs> and let's see what else. What other goodie do I have around here? Is that it? Okay. And another little clock. And these are all hanging from the lace around the edges. And I think that's it. Yeah. All right, let's go inside. Taking too long. So we start off with this image. It's beautiful. This collection is gorgeous too. Um, stitched around and you got like a dress form here and the roses and this book belongs to and I have some trim here and I just ripped a little corner pocket and just stuck that in there because I didn't want to cover that image just didn't want to anyway and then I use this lace and I have six okay and I used it in a way that it will also serve me as a pocket so that's what I did and so I have a flip right here for extra journaling or photos really you could put photos in here because this doesn't have any coffee this is uh, this dress with uh, this dress inks and then look at how pretty and then this is a bookmark holder from her collection. 
and that is your bookmark and I backed it with coffee dyed paper and stitched around it and that goes in there and then you have a little envelope here and I put a little tab on it to make it easy to pull out and some cheesecloth actually no this is sorry silk and some eyelash trim and I use a Martha Stewart punch for some of this, the papers look at how pretty very vintage in the shoes and tracing papers music sheet a doily Edith Holden so you have it all in here and this is uh, glassine baggies I left them empty because the book is fat already and look at how pretty with a nice little locket and a nice little tag that I put some seam binding on and I did a collage here it says tell the story and I have a little cameo here little uh, ribbon flower with a pearl a ticket uh, some lace cheesecloth and fibers it's a flip up okay beautiful And then what I did, this collection came with a full sheet of clocks. And you're going to see them throughout the book. So what I did was because I wanted it to shine like that, you see that? I ran it through my laminator. So, because I wanted it to have that shine almost to simulate a real clock. So this is perfect for photos, really. Um... So you get that, and this is a fern letter. I like to include those. And then this is another envelope. And I have a doily there, and this is lace. And then here I have a glassine bag, and I've just did a whole bunch of collaging here. I have a cameo here with some uh, seam binding, music sheet, paper doily, lace, one of the clocks, let me show you, one of the clocks and some tickets and I have this really nice uh, trim here, long, <laughs> it's like eyelash trim, this like long little flower and then in this bag I have a large tag for journaling and I made that tag and that goes right back in there and you have look at that pretty I love that look at the script on that paper and then you have a cuckoo clock here dangling from a garment pin isn't that cute I love that cuckoo clock love it see how cute and another fold out and then you have the paper which has all the time pieces on it another glassine bag more doilies and although it has a, you know, it's chunky and it has some elements, but you still have a lot of journaling spots. I left, um, this is a tag, and but I left it open. You can still tuck something behind it. And I used one of the clocks. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Nice little tag into this lace pocket. And that lady looks happy. <laughs> this is part of her kit. It's the envelope. And I just made a little tuck spot to put it in. And then behind that, I made a little tag to go there. It's a pocket. And then 
a tag and you get these tabs with her kit in the pockets and I just have some seam binding there and then here it is I made one of these and you can actually use um, let me see I just didn't put anything in it because it's full already but this is a tuck you could put something in there and something in here oh my goodness something in there too okay but it's like a little journal you could put this in your wallet if you want to because it's like a wallet shape I love it and I made it magnetic see listen watch you hear it so that goes in there and it's hard because I have the camera in front of me and then um, I took this image and I glossy accent it and it's like a cameo and that's why I glossy accent it because I wanted it to look that way and then this is another flip and there is your little lock and key on a garment pin and then I made an these are the other look at that and these are laminated so they're very sturdy the clocks are aren't they just beautiful look at that you get a full sheet of those clocks and I just stamped the back love them and then for the envelope, I just have some pom-pom trims here, and I use another clock there. And then behind that, I have another tag back here. That goes behind the envelope for extra journaling. Music. Another pocket. And this has a little, I used another one of the clocks and I stamped that there and that is just a little for extra journaling. And that goes in this pocket. Made a little tag here. and a little envelope with a tag out of book pages. I love making those. And I use one of the time pieces here and created a belly band. Glassine bag. Edith Holden and this is a little coin envelope from her collection and I just made a little tag to put in there and that gets tucked right in there another flip down it says make it count a little collaging there another envelope I left empty and this is from her collection you get this waterfall and so I just made it like this and you get the front images and the back images which is like to journal so you can put photos or journal however you want to use it the only thing is I made it magnetic so I use sari silk and I put a magnet here I put a magnet there and I use a butterfly I put some fibers and now my waterfall doesn't open all over the place so it keeps it closed another glassine bag and this is another flip and this is a pocket with 
tags. And this is, uh, I use this as from her collection and I just took some lace and sandwiched it between her designer paper and coffee uh, dyed paper and I just made some tags with some trim and stitched around it and made a little booklet. And I think I seen this from Kelly Snow as well. So I like that idea. And this is another little from her kit. It says live in the moment, another collage piece, another flip down. Oh my gosh, this video is taking forever, isn't it guys? I'm sorry. I'm trying to go fast. Let me pick up the pace here. Another flip. And another envelope from her kit. Another tag in there. And her wing because you know time flies. <laughs> <laughs> Edith Holden. Oh, look how cute the bird. Music, tracing paper, doily, and this is a little glassine bag. It has a little tag in there, and it's a little library card. This is one of her tab tabs that come in the kit. That goes in there. I just put some foam fibers, eyelash trim, whatever you want to call them. So pretty that paper. And this is another pocket with her images. Oopsie. Mm -hmm. That phone is going crazy. Another envelope, another one of her images, another collage with a cameo and make it happen. Another belly band and a tag and a um, fern letter. This is a glass seam bag, and I just made a little tag there. And the clock, metal charm. Little birds. And here I have a glassine bag and it has a tag and I did some stamping on the top and some collaging. It has two tags here that goes in there and then it has a little tiny envelope with a little tag and then I had I had made this cameo um, with this Victorian lady and you know put some resin over it and I I used it here and it's on top of some cheesecloth and some eyelash trim and I like how it looks I think it looks real good there another pocket And, oh my gosh, we're getting to the end. Another pocket with a bow. And we are at the end, and I use one of the time pieces for a corner tuck. And we are at the end, guys. Oh my gosh, that was a long one. <gasps> Whew. 
All right, guys, this one is also listed on my Etsy. Thank you so much for your patience and for watching. And oh, that was that was a long one. I need like a gallon of water after that one. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.